Here's a question for you everyone. Did you reach your goals in 2015? You see, for a lot of agents and principals, they fell short of their goal. I really want to help you with a step-by-step -step process that's worked for me over the years to reach my goals. So let's work out a way how we can really, really hit the goals. But before we go there, I just want to share with you. Every time I've done personal stories, all those successful people that I've interviewed over the years, one question I do ask them at, right at the end of the interview, what is your definition of success? And I've got to tell you, 80% of the interviewees always say to me, happiness. So how do you create happiness? It's around the five equities of your life. It's not about, Claudio, I wrote a million dollars and that's why I'm successful. It's about having that happiness right across the platform of your life. So the five equities, as you know and I know, it's like your health goals, your personal goals around family and relationships, business and spiritual and finances. Once you understand all of your goals that you want to set, then you've got to break them up and create key behaviours around that goal on a daily basis. So step one, let's just think about it. Big goal. Let's think about a business goal of writing half a million dollars in 2016. Then you've got to work out what are my three key behaviours that I'm going to work towards to reach that goal. So as you know and I know that if I make 30 phone connections, that's going to create leads, leads will create listings, listings will create sales. So that key behaviour could be a key component to reaching your goal of reaching half a million dollars a year. Many agents don't even do 15 calls or 10 calls and sometimes they even struggle to make a call a day. So imagine if you were consistent for the whole of 2016, making 30 connections, making it a non-negotiable. Do you think you'd be one step closer to reaching your goal? Absolutely, of course, you know and I know that. Second step is as you work out the key behaviours, you need to start to track and measure your goals daily. I'll repeat that to you, daily. Don't pick up your goals at the end of 2016, December going, oh, I wonder how I went. You need to be on a conscious level. You see, most of us, we walk around sleepwalking. A lot of us have our goals up in our head, but we don't ink it. Brian Tracy was brilliant. He used to say, if you think it, you've got to ink it. So write down all your goals, write down the key behaviours that you're going to have around the five equities of your life, being the health, if you've got a health goal, I want to lose 10 kilos in 2016. What are the three key behaviours that will help you lose 10 kilos and be at your ideal weight? That's what you need to work out. And then you've got to record it daily on a conscious level, almost like a checklist. Yep, I did my 50 push-ups. Yep, I met with my personal trainer today. Yes, and I had a healthy lunch made from home. Or my business goals, 30 connections, 500 letterbox drops, or basically sending out a quality video to my VIP clients so they can understand what the market is doing because I'm the expert. It is so, so easy. That's what you need to do and work out this year. I hope this video has served you. You can do two things. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel or go to claudioandcena.com. There you'll see some more training videos and resources to help you with the journey of growth. I look forward to seeing you in our next episode.